What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. It's quarantine. It's day 11. And before we even get started, you guys that are participating in this uh, sunglass hunt challenge that I'm doing in these quarantine episodes, you guys are killing it. There is no way I thought you would have found them that early on that uh, pegboard over there where they were in the video yesterday. You know, to the point that a couple times later in the video, I made sure I walked by and, and basically had them in frame where you can see the lenses were blue uh, and you guys just, you're, you're killing it. So keep it up. Quick thing with the challenge, that is the blue lens sunglasses, not the black ones. The black ones are the ones I'm wearing because the blue ones are being hidden throughout videos. And I'm only putting them in videos that are the quarantined playlist. Like for instance, the video yesterday with the bolt and the brake lights, I didn't have them in that. That's just gonna be normal stuff for the channel. So this is a quarantined exclusive. The second thing I wanna talk about is today is uh, Thursday. And I'm actually delivering a car today. So my gentleman that purchased the diesel 1500, the black Silverado from before, you know, everything was shut down. He's picking the vehicle up today. And I found that out because I talked to my GM. Uh, he and one of the finance managers is at the dealership. They're getting everything on the road that was already sold before we shut down. If you haven't heard in New Jersey, uh, Governor Murphy did open up online sales and curbside or outdoor pickup of vehicles. Um, so it's very, very limited, but it allowed us to get a couple vehicles on the road that, um, you know, that were that were pending, that customers couldn't pick up because we had shut down. Lastly, I just want to thank my sister, brother-in-law, niece and nephew for sending up this. We have a quarantined project. It's a thousand piece puzzle. Apparently my sister had pulled up a bunch of different options on the computer and my four year old car guy nephew went with the yellow Z06. So even at the young age of four, he already has awesome tastes in vehicles. Here's what I'm thinking of doing. I'm gonna take this puzzle. I'm gonna see how much I can get done in 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go on my phone. We're gonna set my phone for 30 minutes and uh, let's see how far we can get. Uh, let me first open her up and see what we're working with here. This is a thousand pieces and these are small. Uh, let's get a razor blade. I've already laid out a piece of cardboard on my uh, workbench here that we can use this way when we're not doing the puzzle, we can just move it aside. Uh, unless somebody thinks I'll actually finish it in half hour. I know for a fact I won't. How do I start a puzzle? I find all the end pieces, the corners, we get that done first, the perimeter, and then we're gonna focus right on everything that's yellow for the Corvette Z06. Um, the clock is here, start and we are going. That was a half hour. Let's take a look at what I got done. Basically what we did here was we established almost all of the bottom portion. I only have another maybe two pieces here that go into place and that'll be the whole bottom. We worked a lot of the sky, but as you can see here, see how the glare appears? from my light. So as I'm trying to look, it's hard to match up the blues and what color blue they really are. Uh, we got a whole bunch of pieces for the Corvette. Again, this is our finished product. And I think for the moment, I'm gonna continue doing this for a while and I'll catch up with you in a little bit. All right, here we go, we got another one. We almost got, we almost got the perimeter done. Uh, I have the edit going of this video and those time lapses that you just watched, they take forever to render. So I figured while I'm letting that do its thing, I might as well continue on with the puzzle here. I think we're only about maybe six or seven pieces away from having the whole perimeter done. 
but I just can't find the rest of the end pieces. Guys, I'm sorry, this isn't one of my better uploads, but I got a late start today because I was getting everything ready for uh, April 15th, getting my taxes filed. I wasn't down here as early as I normally am. And then I got this puzzle, which I just felt like doing. So I figured I'll bring you along and see how much I can get accomplished today. We're making good progress. So I just continued on as again, I'm editing at the same time that I'm doing this, but uh, we got the complete border done. So we know the exact perimeter of the puzzle. Uh, we already have the Corvette symbol started here. We have a majority of all the yellow pieces for the Z06. Again, this is what we look like, um, you know, as far as what would be a finished product. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is probably just taking this upstairs and I will, uh, you know, work kind of upstairs a little bit in front of the TV and just kind of relax. I'm actually enjoying doing this. It's a little bit of just a different type of, uh, uh, a different type of, of mental challenge versus what I've been doing for the last uh, now 11 days, making these videos and trying to focus on that. So um, I'm gonna bring all this stuff upstairs with me. For future videos, I have some pretty good ideas. I have, uh, I'm gonna do a video of all the cars I've had. A lot of them I don't have as many photos as I did of like the Galaxy and stuff like that. So it'll be a lot quicker. I'll be able to itemize and kind of go through all those. Um, I wanna try to get my buddy on here. We're gonna possibly have a guest on the show uh, talking about a road trip to Kentucky that was to the Corvette Museum and also to uh, Maker's Mark um, Distillery, which we have our bottle of Maker's Mark right here. So you know, during that video, we'll be doing some shots. I have an idea to do a video about a lease. I wanna get my boss involved on it. I wanna see if he can work uh, numbers on a particular vehicle for me so I can kind of explain a lot of different uh, ways that you can lease a car and a lot of different pricing that you might get based on rebates you qualify for and stuff like that. So that's coming. Um, so the car, the road trip, the lease, uh, we never went for a run. I haven't done any running or anything because, uh, you know, I was supposed to do a marathon in April. It got canceled. So once it got canceled, I kind of stopped training. Uh, you know, I'm pretty good at running in like cold weather and rain and, and not caring what the weather is. But recently, since being down here and focusing so much on this, I just lost my focus on that. So maybe one day we'll go out for a run. But I got ideas. I'm prepared. Um, I don't know how long this will be. Like I said, today's day 11. I'll see you guys tomorrow, day 12. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it.